Hey everyone, welcome to Amapura Awakenings. My name is Nikki. Um, I'm really glad you're here with me today. I wanted to continue moving forward with our chakra system today. So today we're gonna talk about the throat chakra. A few things connected to the throat chakra. The energy color and frequency, the vibration that comes off of our throat chakra is the color blue. So the color of the throat chakra is blue. Also, the element in our throat chakra is connected to sound or vibration. This is one of the very significant ways that we connect and communicate with the world around us is through that ability to interact and communicate. Um, most of the time when we are communicating, we're utilizing our own human conscious brain to make those conversations happen. Somebody says something, we say something in return. So even our communication ability is based upon a trigger. Um, sometimes, however, when our spirit wants us to hear something or when our spirit wants us to um, understand something, one of the things that can happen is we can find ourselves saying something without even meaning to say it. And oftentimes these could potentially be a truth or truths that we hold back, that we bite our tongue and we don't communicate those things. And if you'll notice that sometimes when you bite your tongue and you hold back and you don't speak your truth, in the middle of a um, kind of an uncomfortable situation, you may just blurt that out. And you may not want to blurt it out, but the truth actually just flies out. And sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I could take that back and like, you know, reel it back in and bring it back in so I didn't have to say it. So it's important that we are very honest with our communication and that we communicate our truth as effectively as possible and that we say the things that we mean. Um, sometimes we might not want to say the things that we feel or the things that we think and that's the reason that we bite our tongue or hold back but the best thing that you can do is to deliver that message in a kind and compassionate way it still is very important though that you do communicate and speak your truth because if you don't it's going to come out of your mouth and just kind of fly out and you're not going to want that to happen because sometimes those things are personal or their frustrations that we might have toward another person. So that's one thing to keep in mind with our throat chakra is speak your truth so it doesn't fly out of your mouth in an uncomfortable situation where you may regret saying something in the manner in which you said it. The second thing is that our throat chakra is also utilized by our spirit to communicate a truth to us. And sometimes we just find ourselves saying something about our own life and we don't even realize that we have said it. So I'll be in a session with someone or I'll be in a conversation with a friend and I'll ask them a question and they'll have what I like to call a Freudian slip. That means that they say something and when they said it, they actually got surprised that they said it too. And they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. Well, I guess that's the answer to my question. So if you've ever connected with somebody and you're kind of looking for some guidance from them and as you're talking, they ask you a question. And when they ask you a question, the answer just kind of flies out of your mouth and it brings you clarity. So sometimes your spirit can also utilize your throat chakra not only just to speak the truth of what you're experiencing in the world outside of you, but also the truth that you are experiencing within you when those clarity little pieces just kind of pop out of you. The other thing that your spirit can utilize your throat chakra for is to teach you something. So imagine if somebody comes up to you and they ask you a question and you're supposed to come up with an answer for them and you don't have the answer. You don't even know what they're talking about, but you do try to help them. So as you're trying to help them and you're explaining something to them, the answers just kind of fly into your mind and come out of your throat chakra. And then as you're saying it, you're like, oh my gosh, that's totally the answer to your question. So sometimes you may even receive a piece of clarity that's just going to fly out kind of on its own. And that's another mechanism that 
um, the throat chakra is responsible for. So there's a few different ways that our throat chakra um, is utilized by our spirit to communicate with us. So the first one, remember, is always speaking your truth about the world outside of you to deliver the message as nicely and genuinely and beautifully as possible so it doesn't get locked up in your mind. The second form of communicating with the throat chakra is things that bring you clarity, things that you are discussing with somebody that as you're speaking about them, it just kind of flies out and it brings you clarity. The next thing is that if you receive clarity for another person and it just kind of flies out during the conversation, that's another way that your spirit can utilize your throat chakra to communicate with you and with the people around you. The other thing is imagine if you're giving like a speech and you don't know what to talk about or you don't know what to say. So you start it and you just kind of hope for this stream of consciousness. So you've seen people online and they get into this conversation or this talking and they have a stream of consciousness that just keeps coming and coming and coming. If that ever happens to you, let me ask you this, are you surprised about what you said? Sometimes I'll be explaining something to someone and I really don't know the answer, but as I open myself up to spirit, those answers will just kind of flow through me and end up coming out of my throat chakra and into the communication that I'm having with somebody so that in that instance, I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I remember what I was just talking about because that sounded really good. So if you ever find that you're impressed with the things that are coming out of your mouth and you really wish someone would tape record them, that's an idea of how your spirit can utilize your throat chakra to communicate. So we've talked about a few different ways that your spirit self can kind of take over that energy of your throat chakra and relay information to the outside world. I would suggest or advise that you pay attention to what you say because a lot of times you'll find clarity for another, clarity for yourself, you'll learn a new technique, or you'll be able to elevate and raise people up with the words that you're speaking. So dive into the throat chakra, pay attention and open yourself to spirit so that all of your chakras can be utilized to communicate with yourself and with the outside world. Thanks so much for joining Alma Pura Awakenings here on Instagram and I look forward to the next time. Bye guys.